What's going on you guys? Josh here, also known as Harry Tornado. It is Monday morning, 7.22 a.m., which is early. I sold 15 things this weekend, which was really good for me. I had a really great sales weekend. However, before I get those packed up and, and, and ready to go out, I wanna, you know, again, stick to my priorities. So I'm here at the gym. So let's, let's get it over with. give you guys like a full breakdown of my workouts every day because that's not why you subscribe to my channel but I do want to keep up with my my pace for running a mile uh, my goal is to lose weight not to build muscle at least at this point in my life so I'm just gonna keep running a mile every time I work out and I'll do some weightlifting and other stuff here and there but what I want to what I want to share with you guys and help you keep me accountable is my mile pace today I ran a mile in 12 minutes and 8 seconds which is terrible it's not good at all uh, for me personally. I've, my fastest mile ever was like 7.15 or something like that when I was like 30 pounds skinnier. So uh, it's a long journey, but starting at 12.08, that was my first mile and uh, it'll only get faster from here, hopefully. All right, so like I said, we got 15 items going out today and the very first item we have is this uh, vintage tea canister. Nothing fancy here. I think I paid $1.92 for this at Goodwill, and it sold for $5 plus shipping. Next item is a pair of shoes. I think they are back here. These are some Allegria. I think these are like nursing clogs or something like that. I got these at Goodwill for $6.50, and they sold for $29.99. And they actually sold to a viewer named Kim Johnson from Perrysburg, Ohio. And she says, hey Josh, thank you for the offer. I love watching your videos and I am happy for you and your wife that you are making it full time now. I hope nothing but the best for you. Kim, thank you so much. I appreciate the kind words. I appreciate the support in buying these shoes and I hope you enjoy them. Next time going out is another one of these uh, support your friends posters. These, This is the same poster I have in my office. I'm not making a ton of money on these posters. I think they cost like a dollar, like a dollar fifty each to have them printed up and I'm selling them for $10 with free shipping. They're going first class, so probably making like three bucks on each one. And this one sold to a viewer named Sherry Chapman from Vero Beach, Florida. She said, thank you for all the great information you give all of us on YouTube. I appreciate it more than you know. Sherry, thank you for the kind words and for the support in buying a poster. Hope you enjoy it. This has been listed for maybe a month. It's a Harry Potter scarf and some uh, glasses. So it's like a Harry Potter costume, I guess. It looks like that. Uh, I found both of these items at the bins on different days. I found the glasses and I was like, oh, those look like Harry Potter glasses. I'll just put them with that scarf and sell it as a, you know, Harry Potter costume or whatever. I have about a dollar invested in both of these items together, the glasses and the scarf, and they sold for $15 with the buyer paying shipping. So pretty, pretty decent little sale there. This next item is in the A14 bin. I can see it right here. It's hopefully is the right one. Uh, yeah, this is uh, this is a Puma Ferrari jacket. It's like a Puma jacket with Ferrari like collab stuff on it. I got this at a yard sale for I think I paid three dollars for it and it took a while to sell probably three or four months but I finally sold it for twenty five dollars plus shipping. This next item is in the H bin and it is a small little Toomey bag. It's right here. This is like a Toomey travel bag that you would get like flying first class on Delta, I think. It comes with a little sleep mask inside and it's all new with tags. It's never been used. I got this at the bins for, you know, probably 50 to 75 cents or so and it sold for $8 with the buyer paying shipping. This next item is D6. So it's in the D bin, item number six, which should be oh, here. There's seven, so this is six. Step to the side there. This is a pair of... Uh, Ryan Roots style chaps <laughs> shorts. You can see these shorts are pretty short. I got these at, pretty sure I got these at the bins, so probably paid a dollar fifty for them or so. And this buyer is a viewer, and uh, his name is Derek Baker from Lincoln, Nebraska. And he wanted to, he sent me an offer of these shorts for seventeen dollars, but he wanted me to throw in this New Balance hat, which. Um, I think it's in here. Yeah, it's right here. He wanted me to throw in this New Balance hat. So um, I just accepted his offer of 17 and I told him I'd just throw in the hat to his order. So uh, this hat costs a dollar at a regular Goodwill store. And again, I have about a dollar, dollar 25 invested in these shorts. So say 225 into $17 plus shipping. So small sale, but going out to a viewer, Derek, I really appreciate you and your support. Next item's in the O bin down here. And this is a pretty good sale here. This is two pairs of uh, these like 3D glasses for Samsung 3D TVs. 
Both of them, one of them is new sealed in the package and one was just opened. It was still in the package, but the seal was broken. I got these at Salvation Army for, I think, $3.99 each. So eight about $8 invested total and the pack of two sold for $70 with free shipping. So really good sale here. These did take a while to sell, maybe almost three months, about 90 days. I thought these would go faster since as, you know hard goods generally sell a lot quicker for me than clothing and things like that. So I was surprised that these didn't sell sooner considering I listed them back mm -hmm. you know, before Q4, um, well, like October, November or something like that. So uh, happy they finally sold, just surprised that they took so long. So turning eight bucks into mm -hmm. 70. I just sold something else here. What is this? Oh, nice. I sold that. Uh, let's see. I sold that webcam I picked up in my last video at the thrift store. I paid 20 bucks for this and it just sold for $49 with free shipping. Uh, it's not too heavy, but the box is kind of big. So I'm thinking that it'll still be able to go first class. It'll probably cost, you know, about six or seven bucks or so to ship out. So we'll, we'll cover that one in this video later on. I'll just go ahead and pick it up now. It's sitting right here. I haven't put it up yet. Uh, yeah. So I paid 20 bucks for this at the thrift store last week. And again, after shipping fees and stuff, I should profit about $20. So about doubling my money. I found this set of three Cleveland golf head covers at the bins the other day. And I was, I didn't know whether I wanted to list them together in a lot or separately. And then I realized that it's much easier for somebody to misplace one of these out of a set than need a whole set. So I listed all of these individually for $8.99 each free shipping and the six iron, the six hybrid iron one just sold. So uh, again, I got it at the bin, so I probably paid, I mean, this is super light. It's basically a sock. So I probably paid 25 cents for it. Sold for $8.99, free shipping. It'll probably cost about $3 to ship out. This next sale is a pair of motorcycle shoes. I see one here. The other one's got to be back here. I think it's right here. Yeah. This is a set of motorcycle safety shoes. I picked these up at Salvation Army, gosh, probably eight months ago. I thought these would sell really, really quickly because they were like, they're like fireproof motorcycle or race car driving shoes or something like that. Um, but they didn't. They, it took about eight or nine months to sell these. I paid $5.99 for these at Salvation Army, and they sold for $20 with the buyer paying shipping. Sold another hat. This is a Srixen golf hat, Srixen slash Cleveland collab golf hat. I paid a dollar for this at Goodwill, and it sold for $8 with the buyer paying shipping. These Nike soccer cleats sold, and this was a really great sale for me. I picked these up in a video probably two months ago, I guess. It was one of my little quick thrift trip videos, and I paid $6.50 for these at Goodwill, and they sold for $60 with the buyer paying shipping. So great flip on a pair of used Nike cleats. This next item that sold, I just listed these, I don't know, like two or three days ago. They sold pretty quickly. This is a pair of shoes I picked up in my last video as well. It was at the... Goodwill in Simpsonville. I paid $6.50 for these and they sold for $28 with the buyer paying shipping. So really good flip on a pair of women's tennis shoes. Next item sold is this pair of Jerbo jeans. These are, you can always tell that they're Jerbo if they have this big tape on the leg. It looks like that. It's like a little, it'll be black with a, a white stripe or black with a red stripe or something like that. And the stripe says M plus FG. I got these at Goodwill for $6.50 and they sold for $45 with free shipping. And I should be able to fit these in a padded flat rate envelope if I squeeze it. Uh, if not, I'll just put it in a regular envelope and ship it pirate ship and it should be about the same cost. And the last thing we sold this weekend was this pair of Lakai skate shoes. I picked these up in my very first um, thrifting somewhere else video when we went to Spartanburg. I paid $6.50 for these. They're in excellent condition. And these sold for $20 plus shipping. I did accept a best offer on these. I think I had them listed at like 28 bucks and somebody sent me an offer and I just went ahead and accepted it. Again, more than doubling my money on a pair of shoes. So I'm okay with that. Got everything packed up and ready to put labels on. And then I forgot that I sold this uh, Patagonia jacket this weekend. This is just a women's, like a regular old pullover, you know, nothing too fancy. I got this at Goodwill for $5.75 and it sold for $40 with free shipping. I keep forgetting about this other stuff I sold this weekend. I sold this on Instagram. This is that Nike windbreaker I picked up in my last uh, YouTube video. Uh, when I posted that, I had a guy reach out on, on Instagram and ask me, you know, some questions about it and he decided to pick it up. I sold it to him for $25 with free shipping only because I realized it was missing the zipper pull. Like the zipper's there and it works, but it doesn't have the little tab. So I paid $5.75 for this. And again, selling it for 25 bucks through Instagram, you know, through direct PayPal, there's no fees. So it's straight 25 and it should cost me about five bucks to ship this out. So turning in 5.75 into, you know, about 20 bucks or so, not too bad. 
Also in the same video and at the same thrift store as I bought that windbreaker, I bought two bottles of this Givenchy perfume for $2.62 each. And in that video, I had a viewer reach out wanting to buy one of them. So I gave her a really good deal. I sold it to her for $35 free shipping, and it'll probably cost me about $7 to ship out. So going through my shipping today, I found out that these uh, fire shoe things uh, weighed just over two pounds. I had them set calculated shipping for two pounds, and the buyer paid $14.90 for shipping. But they're going to cost me... 1527 to ship. So I'm gonna try to ship these on pirate ship cubic rate to see if we can bring this cost down any. So here we're looking at those shoes on pirate ship. I did go ahead and buy the label through pirate ship. You can see it's going priority mail cubic all the way to zone eight, which means it's going you know across the country from South Carolina all the way to Washington or Oregon or something like that. And it's only costing me $12.29, which is a savings of $2.98 from what we were gonna have to pay on eBay. So uh, savings of $3 on one package is really de definitely worth checking Pirate Ship out for. So here's the full financial breakdown I like to give you guys. This weekend we had a total gross sale amount of 530 buckaroonies. After eBay and PayPal fees, we are left with 470 buckaroonies. Then we do have to factor in those off eBay sales on Instagram and through direct email of 60 buckaroonies, and this gives us a new amount of 530 buckaroonies. Then we have to take out our total shipping costs, which for everything in this video was 123 buckaroonies, which leaves us with a new amount of 407 buckaroonies. Then we have to take out our total cost of goods, which for everything in this video was 93 buckaroonies, and this leaves us with a total net profit of 315, you guessed it, dollars. All right, so mail haul today. We have one letter. We have a padded flat rate envelope that has like paper in it. So curious to see what that is. We have seven postcards from all over the place and we have a package. I'll leave this package till the end because I feel like that's gonna be the most exciting. I could be wrong, but I don't know. I'll leave it to the end. First up is this letter. I've already opened it and read it. It's from my friend, John Glass. He had already sent me a postcard previously and he sent me a follow-up letter. So John, thank you, I did read this. It's kinda long, so I'm not gonna read it on camera, but I appreciate it and I'll respond to you. I'll get into the postcards. This one, a picture of a schoolhouse on top, and it says, greetings from Huntsville, Texas. Wanted to let you know how much my wife and I enjoy your videos. We are in campus ministry here and have quite a bit in common with you and your wife. I've been selling on Amazon since 2012. Wow, one of the OG Amazon sellers. I have been doing more on eBay lately as the platform doesn't have the restrictions and is more laid back in general. We love reselling because of the flexibility and it gives us a way to work together outside of the ministry bubble. We'd love to connect with you all if you're ever out this way or vice versa. Thanks for being a positive contribution to the reselling community and for all of the openness you display regarding the business. All the best, Reverend Jason and Lindsay Goldsberry. Jason and Lindsay, thank you so much. And you are from Huntsville, Texas. I'll put a pin and put it on the board. Next one, ooh, North Dakota. I didn't think anybody lived in North Dakota. Here is a postcard from North Dakota for your wall. I'm actually writing and sending this from Hawaii because my favorite thing to do in Fargo, North Dakota in the winter is leave. <laughs> Thanks for all the valuable info you share helping resellers like myself all over the country. Keep up the good work. It is from Jonathan Moore. He, oh, he goes by More Income on YouTube. He, he watches all my videos. He comments on all my videos. He's a great guy. So Jonathan, thank you so much. I really appreciate this card. Uh, and I, I I don't think I'll ever get another one from North Dakota. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Next one, Brooklyn, New York. Uh, says, just a note to say thank you for all your awesome content. I'm an eBay seller and have learned a lot from your videos. God bless you and your family. Keep doing what you do. Much love from Brooklyn, New York. Yar, Yarly? Yarly? I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. It says from Y Fuentes. So I guess Yearly Fuentes, Yarly Fuentes. Mr. or Mrs. Fuentes, thank you so much for sending this card from Brooklyn, New York. I will add another pin to Brooklyn because I think I already have one from Brooklyn. So it's gonna be two right there close to each other. Saguaro, whatever that means, is it a cactus? And this says, hey Josh, greetings from Arizona. Love your YouTube channel. The content is super helpful and entertaining. I've been reselling part-time for a few years, but I always learn new tips from you. Best of luck to you, especially with hard goods. Keep on hustling. And this is from Lisa. 
Miss Lisa, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I will put it on the wall. Next one. Ooh, some gargoyles on there. This is from Sierra Vista, Arizona, and it is from Casper Killens. Howdy, Harry Tornado. Thanks for the content and being open about what and how you do your thing. I'm watching a lot of your content and the content of others you mentioned. I'm considering vlogging some of what I'm doing and learning. Thanks again, Casper Killens. Casper, go for it, man. There's no point in, in waiting any longer. You might as well start. I want to start a YouTube channel for probably 12 to 15 years, and I finally did it, and... It's it turned out pretty good so far. Let's go for it. No holding back. Next one is from ja Javelina? Debbie from San Manuel, Arizona. A lot of Arizonas in this batch. It's hi, great YouTube videos. They have helped me a lot. Love Moe's. He loves you too. And this one is from Nova Scotia. Look at that. Isn't that... Isn't that uh, Canada or something? Dear Josh, I just wanted to drop a quick line and tell you how great your videos are. You and I have also talked a couple times on Instagram and your advice was super helpful. Here's a pic of what my city is most known for. Hopefully I'm the first Canadian on your map. Cheers, Josh. Oh yeah, he's that guy's named Josh. He goes by Flippin' Canuck. Uh, forgive me if I'm pronouncing that weird. It's Flippin' C-A-N-U-C-K. Flippin' Canuck on Instagram. Uh, so Josh, thank you so much for this. I do believe you are the first one from Canada, I think. Thank you so much, I really appreciate that. All right, let's see what's in this padded flat rate envelope. Huh, and then it's in another flat rate envelope. This is interesting. <laughs> okay, so there's $25 in here. So this is from Jonathan Gundar. For, forgive me if I'm pronouncing that incor incorrectly, but the last name was G-O-U-N-D-A-R. And basically, Jonathan had sent me an email uh, and asked me some questions about eBay. We went back and forth a bit, and he said that uh, he's been going back and reading the emails and, and taking the advice that I gave him in the emails. And he made his first sale on January 26, 2020. And he sold two items and made $75. He said the crazy thing about these sales were that the two items sold overnight after a few hours of posting it on eBay. One was best offer and one was full asking price. And he said, with everything said and done, I want to give you $25 for my first sale for helping me via your emails. I want to grow this reseller relationship with you and build a more stable eBay business. Thank you, Jonathan Gundar. Jonathan, thank you. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. I'll go back and look at our emails and see if there's anything else I feel like I could help you on. Um, and you gave me your number in the, in the, in the email. So maybe I'll do like a quick coaching call or something like that with you. But, uh, seriously, man, I appreciate that. You didn't have to, you don't, you don't have to pay me for answering emails. It's my pleasure to do that. But, uh, thank you. Just the same. That really says a lot about how serious you take your business. And I'm, I'm more than happy to help you meet your goals. Package. This is from my friend, Heroin Bob. She has a new reselling channel. She act She's actually a, a streamer on Twitch. She streams like, I think five days a week on Twitch. And she's been posting a ton of content on YouTube lately. She's almost doing like daily uploads. She kind of reminds me of Crazy Lamplate a little bit and the stuff that she buys to flip. So check her out. I'll leave a link to her channel in the description of this video. She's helped me a lot behind the scenes with like marketing and PR stuff that I'm working on. Uh, so I definitely appreciate everything she's done for me. So she said she was going to send me this this package. Uh, so I'm curious to know what it is. But uh, in the meantime, like I said, her channel will be linked in the description. So go check it out. She posts a ton of videos and they're all really short. So they're easy to watch. And I think you guys all like her. So let's so see. You got a little card up here. So this is a seashell. It says, thank you. It says, Josh, I normally send these out to my Twitch subscribers. So you're talking about this little patch but I think you deserve to be an honorary member of my hippo army. The mug is so you can live that hashtag mug life without having to resell them. Thank you for being a wonderful person to bounce ideas off of, and I hope your business explodes in Zozo. <laughs> I can't tell if it was Zozo or 2020, but I'm going to go with Zozo. Bob, thank you so much for this. This is awesome. I will put it, it looks like one of those iron on patches. So I'm going to definitely iron it onto something. Oh yeah, Heroin Bob coffee mug. I really appreciate it. I will definitely use the coffee mug. And again, guys, I'll link her channel in the description of this video. Be sure to check it out. She posts a ton of videos. They're all really short and she's very, very good on camera. I think probably because she streams on Twitch all the time. So uh, she's really, really easy to watch and I really enjoy her channel. All right, so we got everything up on the board now. I'll put most of the cards on this little top part up here. Um, but you guys have just gone above and beyond with how many cards you're sending me. I uh, just, I really, really appreciate it. I know it takes time to find a postcard and then write me a message and then spend, spend money on, on postage. Uh, and I'm just incredibly grateful for you guys. This is such a fun 
thing for me. I love seeing how far my channel reaches and the people that I help. Thank you guys so much. You're the best. All right. I am calling it quits. This video has been long enough. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I appreciate your time tremendously. You're the best and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Wow.